energy is a little bit low today because like I'm tired man it's it's, it's early but um ha, 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 fresh cut babes ah Ah. Anyway, so today we are at the village and I want to show you guys around. We're going to go play with some animals. We're going to, um, yeah, we'll see what we'll do, guys. Actually, who is that? I see you. Hello. Let's say hi to the people. Hey, guys. How are you? Fine, thank you. Are you having fun in the village? Eh. Yeah, shut up. Anyway, so I'm going to take you guys around today and see what we're going to do. Hopefully, this is actually like a really nice vlog. Um, but yeah, let's go. The cows will chase you. No. So guys, let me tell you something. We got the land back, okay? We secured the land. We got cows lock. It's lit, man. Anyway, guys, welcome to my vlog. So today I decided I'm just going to show you guys around, show you the cows and the animals in the village because you know that's what we do i really wanted to milk a cow but unfortunately none of them like have babies so i'm sorry i keep looking back because i i don't want to get chased by a cow two seconds later so there i am standing i'm about to take a snap right because like photo up you know what i'm saying you always gotta take a photo up when this one cow dude it literally like like it tried to come at me like it was like charging and I actually like ran and then <laughs> this, I don't know what you call like a person who's busy with cows like a sh I don't know if you call a shepherd or what and then he was like started laughing he's like no you're doing anything and I was like excuse me it was trying to chase me he's like oh yeah you know if a cow doesn't know you it's gonna chase you and I'm like okay so what am I supposed to do and he was like run and he's like nah B like if it chases you like I'm gonna help you and I'm like listen I prefer not to be chased like that's the point of the story as one does you know this my nigga right here nigga sally is a real one sally say what's up she a bit shy she a bit shy i'm gonna introduce y'all to everybody we have richard over there richard say what's up bro he a bit shy too ah, matilda see matilda there matilda you shy too sis girl come on we spoke all right just to show you my experience in the village but also just to showcase my culture and tradition i'm a tsonga woman and throughout this video you can see tsonga woman dancing with a skirt that skirt is called shibelani it's the traditional attire for women and the people okay just a little bit of context of what's going on here they're busy celebrating the boy 
who has just returned from his circumcision slash initiation where he gets circumcised and they teach him how to be a man and now they're just celebrating him they're giving him money so i just wanted to show you guys what something like that looks like just to clarify the family invited me to um film them and be a part of my vlog they wanted to be a part of the vlog um i didn't just <laughs> impose myself but yeah man i just want to show you guys a bit of my culture and this is also just a video to encourage you to be proud of who you are proud of where you come from to always remember i'm very proud of being tonga proud of being a tonga woman i know growing up i don't know if you guys still experience this now my 2000 but we used to be teased for being tonga it wasn't cool people would always tease our language and our culture and stuff like that which can be very damaging and make you want to move away from that but you know what it's actually ridiculous we have so many different cultures and tribes in south africa that we need to celebrate and be proud of so please comment down below what tribe you're from what culture you're from whether it's south african or any other country in the world because we need to be proud of ourselves and where we come from and a part of being proud of ourselves where we come from what our culture is we also need to be proud of being black and understand that black is beautiful and my skin is not a sin and that my hair is good hair in this quarantine period alone we have seen the death of george and ahmad and brianna and we have seen the video of Amy Cooper threatening to call the police. In fact, she did call the police and say that an African American man was harassing her. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. There is an African American man. I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. <laughs> and my. I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. Because she knew what it would mean if she, a white woman, called the police and said that an African-American man was attacking her. She weaponized police brutality. I don't want to go too much into it in this video because it's not the purpose of this video, but I want to say that black lives matter and my skin is not a sin and being black should not be a death sentence. And honestly, I don't know who needs to hear this, but I want you to know that your black life matters and your voice matters. You are cared for, you are loved, you are needed and you are a necessity in this world and there is space for you even if there are people and systems and places and incidents that want to make you feel like you don't belong you do belong because god doesn't make mistakes and my brown skin your brown skin our brown skin is not a mistake so rest in peace to Ahmad, rest in peace to brianna rest in peace to george and for all of them may there be justice that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos peace and love guys